Hi everyone, it's Lisa here from What's Her Name Tarot. I'm here to do the quick fire readings for the week of Monday 9th of November 2020. So no oracles, no clarifications. Each star sign just gets one card per day. One for Monday, one for Tuesday, one for Wednesday, etc. And boom, that's what you get. So um, they will be time stamped. So do check that out if you want to just fast forward to your section to see what's happening for the week. Um, I haven't had a very good week at the start. I did the fire signs on Monday morning and I always check a little bit of sound and it, yes it was going and uploaded them and then someone said there's no voice and it all, it all started. Each one started for about five seconds and then nothing. And it's like trust me I talk a lot so <laughs> it's like <laughs> for me to have no voice it's like what? And um, so yeah had to redo those as well and now I've just gotten halfway through this one and it stopped well I didn't get halfway probably quarter of the way and it just stopped all of a sudden so it's like <laughs> what happens at the start of the week will happen at the end of the week so anyway thank you to everyone who has liked and subscribed do click the notification bell there and and if you're new because I'm new too click that subscribe button I do weekly readings this quick fire daily reading in the weekend I do monthly readings and at the end of this month I will do a yearly reading for each star sign for 2021 so busy month I'm also changing my hours at work and so I don't know when I'm going to cram all this in I'll be doing seven days on seven days off unless I'm called in I'm a week off but um yeah I'll be leaving home at 7 a.m and coming home at 5 p.m so I'll be up a bit earlier to do your readings in the morning on that week <laughs> so I think that starts in a couple of weeks time so but I'm super stoked for the work that might be what my competition will be for the next giveaway I did a giveaway competition on Facebook last week well actually the week before I drew it last week um, after I did these readings and um, did a 2021 reading giveaway and I'm going to do the same on YouTube because I'm not getting any comments it's like I've had three or four I think since I've started <laughs> it's like how do I get people to comment just leave a comment say hi and um, but yeah I might see if I can get some comments started up by doing this competition on YouTube um, which I'll probably do next week next week um, after the quick fire reading and um, and make it something where you have to comment make it something guess something about me and um, and the only way to enter the draw is to make a comment <laughs> I don't know if that sounds sad or not but I've got to do that too <laughs> get somebody to comment on my page <laughs> Anyway, so these are a general read only and take with you what resonates. Cross watches are welcome and do check your sun, moon, rising sign and Google your angel numbers if you have any number synchronicities that come out. Um, during the week I was saying Google angel your numbers or something like that and I'm thinking no, there's, but there's probably a Google angel out there. There needs to be because I'm useless with technology. So we're going to give this take two. <laughs> Let's start with Sagittarius. So I'm going to do fire signs, water signs, air signs, earth signs. Yes, I still have them written down over here <laughs> so I can follow it. And um, yeah, but no clarification, no oracles for this. They'll be done again next week in the weekly readings. Right, so Sagittarius. You get the Ace of Pentacles transition prince of wands queen of pentacles six of wands queen of cups and the high priestess overall you get the ace of wands okay so you've got two aces here two ones we make that as 11 if it's a number synchronicity um but definitely you've got goals you've got visions You've got new ideas of what you want to be happening this week this is also to me an apology card so um, could be an apology owed or due and um, yeah and it might let you start on a brand new chapter with with something around that but you've definitely got these two aces right here as well ace of pentacles for monday 
brand new beginning for the week there you go bang that's yours um, love that so very lucky fortunate beginning here for some of you okay Tuesday you've got transition which is the death card and I love this card because it is releasing something from the past moving forward into this new beginning it's like whatever's happened back here it's like actually I'll go like that because my hand goes off the camera back here um, you're moving forward into this new chapter love it Wednesday you get the Prince of Wands okay so you have got vision you've got these goals and your confidence you can see them coming towards you, you can see them coming to fruition um, so definitely love that that's what your transition is moving into that love that Okay, Sagittarius Thursday, you get the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, proud of your achievements and how far you've come. Success is starting to happen for you now. Love it. Okay, Friday, ready for the weekend. Sense of victory. Yes, it's, um, it's there. Love it. You're very proud of how far you've come, as I said, back here. And now you're getting the victory from all of this throughout the week. Saturday you've got loving nurturing energy around you this could be you it's like as as a very loving stable energy that you're putting out there um, but very stable very proud of again how far she's come you've got these these are the two queens here in the reading and um, but definitely yeah lovers around lovers all around is that a song gonna be thinking all day now Okay, Sunday, you finish with the High Priestess. Okay, so very aware of what is happening around you. So you could be aware that there is this loving energy around you and this sense of victory here. Okay, but not ready to jump straight in to something. So you're kind of a bit closed off, but you've got your eyes open, your ears open, your mind open. Okay, but you're just not letting everything rush in and overwhelm you. That's awesome. Okay, so Sagittarius, we're going to see what the universe has to say. Temperance, that's your card. Ten of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, so maintaining balance, not overindulging and doing things in moderation. Bring you the stability here. Looks like a happy family life. Always say, um, you know family can be friends my family my mum and my two brothers are back in New Zealand and I moved to Australia about five years ago with friends my friends are over here and now my family over here so I've got family in New Zealand and I've got family here and um, so definitely family situation around there but Wheel of Fortune propelling you forward into this brand new beginning here bang it's yours Sagittarius love that okay so that's what I have for you move on to Leo see what you've got Queen of Pentacles eight of cups Prince of Pentacles Princess of Pentacles King of Cups judgment justice overall for the week six of pentacles could be dealing with an earth sign here taurus virgo or capricorn a lot of pentacles but um maintain your balance here okay equal give and take don't do all the giving and no taking and definitely don't do all the taking and don't give anything back maintain that balance um to keep even there so monday you've got the queen of pentacles Okay, success is coming to you and proud of your achievements and how far you've come 
Okay, so there is success here happening for you at the start of the week. May mean that you mean may mean that you mean may mean that you need to walk away from something that's not serving you anymore, that's dragging you down, dragging you behind. Okay. So I always say it does not have to be a person or a relationship, it can be a job, anything, it could be a house, car, selling the car and getting a new car. Um, but walking away from something that you don't need anymore. Okay. Wednesday, you're going into this Prince of Pentacles, so definitely an offer is coming in towards you. However, <laughs> there's always a but. Um, it's this last card of the pack, so patience is definitely needed here. Okay, love that. It is on its way though. So you've got the Princess of Pentacles here. Whatever it is, or whoever is bringing it, is very confident, very much wanting to work with you on something, and um, could be a younger energy, so it doesn't have to be, and by that I still can mean a pet or a child or anything like that, but um, definitely somebody wanting to work with you, and um, come and do some collaboration. Okay, so we're going to the weekend, Friday, King of Cups, love that, very stable, um, happiness, emotional happiness here, um, strong, got it together, <laughs> so to speak, so Leo, for some of you, you've yeah, definitely got it together, Saturday, we're going into judgment, um, keep an open mind, be fair, be open, be honest, um, don't judge others, don't let others judge you as well, so it does work both ways, and um, sticking to your guns and your beliefs, but keeping an open mind at the same time, beautiful. Sunday, end of the week, justice, reward is coming to you for the work you've put in, it's like you can see this reward coming, it's good karma, it's like, so could be dealing with the Libra here, but um, definitely good reward coming to you at the end of the week okay underneath before I shuffle is the star Aquarius but your wishes wishes could be coming true justice is paying off you know maybe okay so Leo we'll see what the universe has to say temperance could be Sagittarius king of wands ten of pentacles love that Okay, doing things in moderation, don't overindulge, and um, keep things evenly balanced. Determination, courage, confidence, stability, but mostly that determination to go after what you, what you deserve with this justice here. Determined to go after that. Okay, and it's going to bring you this stability here, this happy, stable family life. As I said um, before, it's like family doesn't have to be mum, dad, brother, like that, can be good friends, can be family as well. Okay, Leo, so that's what I have for you. Hope that helped. Leave comments, <laughs> please. <laughs> okay, so we're going on to Aries. Quick reading, Monday 9th of November 2020. the sun just before I break that up who doesn't want that okay so Aries there for you Prince of Cups the Empress Queen of Wands <laughs> the sun <laughs> five of swords seven of wands two of pentacles Oh, overall you've got the lovers <laughs> somebody significant here that you want to be with somebody wants to be with you could be soulmate twin flame but very much wanting to be together do things together and love love <laughs> be together okay so Monday Prince of Cups is the love coming in towards you straight away on Monday somebody wants to come in and offer this to you now this one does not have to be significant other <laughs> could be but um, 
it's something you love so it could be a home could be a job could be a car anything like that but there's definitely something loving around you there on Monday Tuesday you get the Empress so very strong feminine energy there behind you um, or within you for some of you so um, very strong very stable but very intuitive knowing what's going on around you love that beautiful Wednesday you got the Queen of Wands here okay so confidence to go after what you believe in and what you want um, legally <laughs> always say legally and morally <laughs> do that so um, but very much determined card there love that as I said we're coming into the <laughs> who wants the Sun <laughs> well Aries you got the Sun it's like happiness joy freedom you know just a big release of energy of um, anything that has weighed you down in the past it's like it's finally here this is finally happening love that that's on Thursday okay Friday is the five of swords with the sense of this energy around you on Thursday Friday may be and I don't say admitting defeat because either way this card is a victory okay if you've been banging your head against a brick wall and not getting anywhere and you're finally walking away that is a victory and likewise you could be fighting for something you really believe in and you're determined there especially with the Queen of Wands that determination and you do come out with the win and you've got the victory there so either way this card five of swords is a victory look Roman numerals five is a V V for victory <laughs> just noticed that <laughs> okay so Saturday seven of wands persistence don't give up okay you've got this you can go after this you've got it somebody's help along the way maybe wants to be on that journey with you Sunday it's the two of Pentacles everything juggle if it's set like that be pretty boring it is like this it's a juggle okay so just maintain that balance okay don't let it go too far one side or that side and um, yeah maintain that balance there love it Aries that's good okay so Aries see what the universe has to say seven of swords seven of Pentacles seven of cups Wow there's your numer numerology synchronicity numbers there I don't know what I was gonna say Sequ sequence <laughs> seven 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 go and check that angel number out that has got to mean something for some of you as well wow anyway what it's saying <laughs> seven of swords walking away from some sort of deception maybe this okay working on yourself getting everything together getting everything in place love it and you've got choices and options everybody's got options and I always say you might take option A and that presents you with option B and C and then you might want option D so you go that way everybody chooses differently to what serves them okay but definitely go and check that triple seven out for a number Aries okay so that's what we have for you so we're going to move on to water signs so we've got Scorpio this is about where it cut out on the first round when I did these so it's like keep going camera keep going always say it's never the operator so Scorpio you've got two of Pentacles three of Pentacles the lovers ace of swords wheel of fortune <laughs> king of cups nine of swords frown for that last one princess of cups overall so younger energy maybe coming in with a cup of love here again doesn't have to be relationship wise can be a pet can be a child anything um, and it doesn't have to be younger it's just that sense of energy 
playful energy around but definitely coming in offering love you've got the lovers in here too so <laughs> just saying Scorpio <laughs> so Monday two of Pentacles okay balanced life's a juggle be boring if it sat there just perfectly balanced okay it is a juggle and it's just saying yep yeah, make sure you do keep that juggle going no number three of Pentacles for Tuesday okay planning to be done you're wanting to build a new foundation of some sort with somebody maybe because you're coming into the lovers on the next day so it could be with somebody that you're wanting to build a solid new foundation here um, but either way there needs to be planning involved okay everything needs planning but as I said Wednesday you've got the lovers so definitely somebody significant wants to be with you on this journey you want to be with them twin flame soulmate anything anybody but there is somebody here significant around you on Wednesday love it Thursday ace of swords brand new beginning always love this picture it's like cut out all this crap at the back reach for this baby brand new beginning baby meaning birth is a new start ace of swords clearing all the crap reaching this for this brand new beginning here love it some of you could be a new relationship here you have to let me know leave a comment <laughs> Um, going into the weekend, Friday, Wheel of Fortune, awesome, propelling you forward, love it, right into that weekend, who doesn't want that to start the weekend? Saturday, King of Cups, okay, very stable, emotional happiness, emotional energy around you, very strong, masculine, um, very much in control of the situation, emotionally, some people are, some people aren't <laughs> but <laughs> but anyway some people are but it's also around you it doesn't have to be you it doesn't have to be your energy it can be somebody else's that is around you but definitely stability around there okay Sunday you're going into the nine of swords so I don't know what's going on there's a lot of overthinking here a bit of anxiety and stress something is keeping you awake at night and you're just ticking over ticking over and ticking over um, yeah I'll be using this to to release some of this and definitely this being around you on the Saturday into the Sunday this can ease that there okay but we'll see what the universe has to say everybody thinks about things though um, and I think it's human nature to overthink things generally so don't stress about that so you get five of wands nine of cups six of cups okay so there is a battle of some sort competition and you know some of you maybe the battle is yourself within yourself um doesn't have to be it can be with others or something or at work or anything like that but battle or competition there um, but this is going to cut cut that out and go yep yeah, I have to make sure I look at look at them make sure I did it the right way and you're going to come out with this emotional happiness here okay and fond memories of something could be a reconciliation for some of you with the six of cups it is um, a loving energy from the past so it's whether you're thinking of it or it's physically coming back into your life um, who knows but um, definitely young at hearts energy playful energy there okay Scorpio so that's what I have for you going to go on to cancer it's a bit later this morning I've pulled the table out a bit further again so the glare from outside isn't usually it's like right here <laughs> this big ball of light <laughs> so. okay 
Okay, so Cancer. Yeah, Princess of Swords, Two of Cups, Six of Pentacles, The Chariot, The Tower, Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, love that for the end. No Roy, you get the full. Something you may need to take a chance on this week. Take a risk, leap of faith, jump in, <laughs> so to speak. Um, yeah, for some of you that may pertain, you'll know know something that's going on this week that you need to take a chance on for me I'm aiming for your Tuesday <laughs> two <of> cups <laughs> but we'll start with Monday okay princess of swords so very brave up for the challenge bring it on <laughs> take that chance bring it on you're ready for it okay you may be ready for this here the two of cups so somebody that wants to be with you on this journey you want them around you want to be doing things together okay and it's something that you may be needing to take a chance on something that you didn't expect and yeah okay Wednesday do maintain your balance make sure it is equal balance um, don't do all the giving and no taking and don't do all the taking and no giving so you do need to maintain that balance there it is a juggle but um, yeah keep things even Thursday you've got the chariot by keeping things balanced your chariot can move forward a lot more freely okay it may have been pulled in different directions everybody wanting a bit of you to do this and that and um, you're getting yourself back into alignment and your chariot is it is a movement forward card so you're going to move forward freely when you're back into alignment love it Friday going into the weekend boom <laughs> get rid of everything that you don't need um, that's now going into the past and you're starting to build this solid new foundation here you finish with an ace which is the beginning of something you're beginning to build a new foundation that's gonna that's gonna hold up this time okay so Saturday you're going to the Queen of Pentacles Okay, very proud of how far you've come and um, of your achievements your success you can see that it's right there now so um, it's all happening for you on Saturday success and achievement and as I said going into Sunday so brand new beginning cut out this crap at the back reach for this baby here birth of a baby is a brand new beginning ace is a brand new beginning okay so all this is now in the past it's got blown, blown to high waters with um, the tower explosion and you're able to start start a new chapter start a new beginning there so cancer love that something you may need to take a chance on for the week do it let me know <laughs> leave a comment <laughs> let me know what happens um let me see what the universe has to say for you King of Cups, Nine of Swords, Seven of Cups. Okay, so very strong energy around here, emotionally. Um, very loving energy. Love it. Beautiful. Whatever it is, something there's something that is still keeping you a bit stressed, overthinking things, keeping you awake at night. Could be still from this on Friday. Um, any change, any major change like that brings with it overthinking but I said said in someone else's reading human nature to overthink everybody does it but there are options that could be a bit overwhelming that may be what's coming where are we back to that okay there's all these options being presented to you but you choose what's right for you there's no wrong option and every everything you choose then presents you with a new set of choices in front of you so that's the flow of life and um, but just check each one out carefully and you choose what's right for you okay cancer so that's what we have for you right moving on to Pisces put my contact lenses in and they're starting to wear out. Um, I have daily ones, but the one these I wore these yesterday. 
and I thought, oh yeah, just to do the reading this morning, I'll put, put the same ones in. <laughs> so now, trust me, I can still read the cards. <laughs> So Pisces, this is what we have for you, 9th of November 2020. Prince of Pentacles, Prince of Cups, the Magus, Six of Swords, Ten of Cups, Princess of Swords, and the Universe. Whoa. <laughs> Pisces, love this. Overall, you get the Hierophant, so sticking to your beliefs, okay? You're not going to let anybody come in and tell you what to do, what not to do, or it's, you need to do, you know, you need to do this, or you need to go here. No, stick to your, follow your heart, follow your mind, follow your intuition, okay? Right, Monday, Prince of Pentacles, okay? So definitely something is coming towards you, a new offer of some sort is moving in towards you. However, as I said before, there's always a but. Um, very slow moving, so patience is required. This is on Monday, but who knows, by Sunday with the universe, it's like you got it. But definitely patience involved for the week. Tuesday, some of you could be getting love coming in to being offered to you. Love, love. Hope so let me know um, for others it's just a loving energy that's around you that wants to come in and be with you offer you their cup of love could be a child could be a pet anything like that but that's on Tuesday Wednesday you got the magus this is the magician manifesting love it so manifest correctly okay make it realistic logical um, no, don't go too overboard and things can happen things can come through because this again you got this on Sunday so Wednesday is your manifestation day Thursday is the six of swords yep so moving forward might have to be done in secrecy um, or under cover of some sort if that's if that's a way um, but definitely six of swords is movement forward some of you are moving away like moving house and things like that so um, you know maybe you're just manifesting for that to go smoothly love it going into the weekend Friday you've got ten of cups happiness here okay still be flowing from this on Tuesday <laughs> who knows <laughs> and um, but definitely very very happy energy on Friday oh la la Saturday you've got the Princess of Swords so um, very brave up for the challenge you're like bring this on you're manifesting your way to this and you're like bring it on I'm ready you are ready and Sunday as I said ending the week you've got the universe the world at your feet everything's there for you on Sunday Pisces you've got to let me know if this is happening underneath you've got nine of cups emotional happiness so I'm um, going to see what the universe has to say but yeah leave a comment um, <laughs> just as I shuffled like that the sun <laughs> please leave a comment and tell me if any of this works out for you love it so I'm just going to see what the universe has to say I don't know why I shuffled like that. I only usually do that at the start of each one, so must have been a reason as well. We'll see when the when the cards come out. <laughs> that's, that's the first one. Didn't want to go back in. Justice, the lovers, five of swords. So definitely <laughs> these two together. Oh, <laughs> all there is love, love for some of you from back here manifestation on Wednesday maybe this is what you're manifesta manifestationing <laughs> there's a word for you manifesting it's like love it okay somebody significant soulmate twin flame maybe wants to be on this journey with you wants to get these sweet rewards with you okay five of swords well I'll say it's a battle card it's um, if you're 
banging your head against this brick wall I think I say the same way each time you suddenly walk away from something that's not serving you that's victory otherwise you're fighting for something you believe in and the others leave that's victory and this card is Roman numerology five is a V <laughs> so I say V for victory so it could be a victory here with reward and love <laughs> Pisces, let me know. <laughs> I'm a Pisces, so I'll let you know. <laughs> okay, so we're going on to air signs now. So we're going on to Libra. Cards want to fly out for you, Libra. Better begin. Okay, Seven of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Ace of Swords, Two of Swords, Four of Cups, Justice, The Tower. Overall for the week, Libra, you get the Four of Pentacles. Maybe keeping something within, nothing wrong with that, and maintaining your balance here. But um, it's also like a bit materialistic like this is mine you don't want to share with others at the moment and again nothing wrong with that um, you look after what's your <laughs> look after number one what's yours Wednesday the Ace of Swords we've had a lot of cards a lot of signs have had that out today so definitely a lot of new beginnings happening for people out there okay Monday we've got seven of Pentacles so working to get everything together getting it in order getting it all into place nicely that's the beginning of the week love that Tuesday six of cups could be a reconciliation of some sort for some of you this is a memories card so somebody could be coming back into your life from your past or you're wanting that young playful energy there you've got fond memories of something um, what's that word can't even think of it I'll think of it like two o'clock in the morning yeah definitely fond memories there of some sort for you on Tuesday uh, Wednesday you get ace of swords so I've said like cutting all this crap out the back there's a baby here reaching for this brand new beginning baby is a new beginning this is a new beginning card new chapter something's going on it's going to be a lot more clearer though because you've cleared all this crap out the back up here to reach reach for that beginning there Thursday, so Libra, you get the Two of Swords. Okay, so a decision may need to be made. In order to make that, you need to see things clearly. Okay, so you've got the Clarity card there of a new beginning, and now it's time to, to really see things clearly to make a decision that suits you. Okay, going into the weekend, you've got Friday, the Four of Cups. So focus, this is about focus shift your focus to see what else is going on around you you may just be stuck on one particular area or thing that you're looking at and there is other things happening around you so so shift your focus if that means anything to some of you saturday you've got justice good karma coming good reward okay you've worked hard here at the beginning of the week it's going to pay off saturday it's coming in to pay off because Sunday, okay, all this crap from back here is going, okay, done, blasted out into the world, <laughs> into the space, <laughs> and um, gives you a chance to build a solid new foundation, this new beginning here, okay, make it solid, love it, so Libra, going to see what the universe has to say for you, Five of Pentacles, the Empress, Seven of Cups. Okay, so this is sometimes the um, 
feeling of isolation or abandonment but for me for this pack I say something feels like it's unobtainable this pentacles right up here and that's what they're reaching for they can't reach it yet yet okay but this work is paying off is going to make something something I don't know if reachable is a word obtainable okay because you've got the empress behind you there that way um very intuitive very much aware of what's going on around you and this is where the shift of focus may be kicking in is like you're suddenly seeing things that's happening around you very in tune with yourself and with others okay and finishing with the seven of cups which is all about choices and options no wrong choice no wrong option for you you choose what's right for you and i said before life is all about choices i said you always choose what's right for you something there and then that opens up four or five other options so check each one out carefully and you choose what's right for you okay libra so that's what we have for you so we're going into gemini So Gemini. Okay, you get the Nine of Pentacles, Two of Cups. Somebody had Two of Cups on Tuesday as well. Two of Swords, Queen of Swords, King of Wands, the Deceiver, Four of Wands. Overall is the Four of Pentacles. Well, there you go. You got your number synchronicities: two twos, twenty-two two fours 44 sound like bingo okay so overall four of pentacles okay so holding something in i think libra just had this if i remember rightly or somebody did just recently one of the ones before um but holding something in and um there's nothing wrong with that you are remaining balanced but um looking after yourself look after number one Okay, so Gemini, start the week with the Nine of Pentacles. Awesome. Success is coming, and you can see it coming towards you. Love it. Beautiful. It's right there. Right there. Um, Tuesday, as I said, somebody else had this on Tuesday. Two of Cups. So it could be Soulmate Twin Flame. It's wanting to be on this journey with you. Somebody significant and um, just wanting to be with you. You want to be with them. Do things together. Um, it doesn't have to be a relationship with the two of cups it does mainly point to that but um, could also be something at work or a house that you've just bought that you really love and yeah something's working for you right next to it is Wednesday the two of swords so a decision needs to be made on something but it needs to be bleh, needs to be made clearly <laughs> <laughs> blending my words and I'm good with that um, so yeah definitely look at things clearly especially if this is coming back to buying a house or something that you love look at things clearly maybe for some of you but um, a decision may need to be made okay Thursday you make that decision with honesty openness and clarity okay love that Queen of Swords sometimes she can be quite brutal and upfront but it's always around honesty at least you know where you stand um, or others know where you stand you know where you stand with others okay keep that openness there and the clarity going into the weekend you've got Friday the King of Wands there's something that you're after you're determined you're confident you're going for it very stable very strong energy but I've got this I'm getting that legally or morally I always say <laughs> so <laughs> Gemini just remember that <laughs> okay so Saturday you are going into the deceiver so this doesn't have to be you you it can be somebody around you but somebody's got a negative energy toxic energy maybe an addiction of some sort 
okay so Saturday that's going to come to play and this king on Friday might be the one that's you're confident to get through this help somebody else maybe through this um, that might be what's taking gonna take your weekend up so Sunday you do come out with stability brilliant stability commitment of some sorts um, so yeah helping somebody through this and no it does not happen just in a day it's long term probably forever for some people okay but for some reason on Sunday you're coming out with a sense of stability here so love that okay so Gemini I'm going to see what the universe has to say for you Ace of Swords, so many people have had that too. Ten of Swords, Prince of Pentacles, love that. Love that flow. Ace of Swords, cut out all this crap up here. As I've said on each one as well, this is a baby. They're reaching for a new baby. Um, a baby is just a sign of a new beginning, new chapter. It's brand new. Okay, so cutting all the crap out the back so he's able to reach for this new beginning here. Okay. That new beginning is going to end this pain this painful cycle here again could come back to this on saturday that's coming to an end love that but always a but prince of pentacles very patient it's the slowest card in the pack it's all about patience but there's something good coming to you something on offer and it is moving towards you so gemini that's what i have for you as i said leave a comment let me know what's going on or how that will resonated with any of you and we're going on to Aquarius oops I didn't want to work <laughs> Aquarius. Well, that wanted to come out, so that's saying to start. <laughs> so, Temperance, Five of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Princess of Pentacles, The Lovers, Princess of Wands, and The Fool, and a truck that's going past. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay so Aquarius overall you've got the five of cups so focusing on something that you've lost some sort of grief some sort of loss everybody does this in their own time and I always say you do it in your own time okay don't let anybody come in and tell you you need to move on now whatever has happened in this past here but there is other loving energy around you just do remember that um, Yes, you may still be stuck here for a bit, but there is other energy, loving energy around you that, that is there as well. So that might pertain for some of you this week for some reason. Okay, so Monday, you've got temperance. Okay, doing things in moderation, keeping things in balance. Don't run hot and cold um, or be in and out of something. It's just moderation don't overindulge okay Tuesday five of Pentacles so this is a sense of um, isolation and abandonment may come back to this feeling overall for the week this card also is a sign of something that feels unobtainable because they're reaching for this top Pentacle here and they can't reach it they can't reach it yet but um, yeah work with that work with that but as I said it could be a sense of abandonment or isolation being left out in the cold because Wednesday you've got the two of cups around you so there is love here around you and um, could be a significant other soulmate twin flame but definitely somebody that's on this journey with you whatever this is and whatever this is there's definitely love around you with somebody that that's on that journey with you love it 
so Thursday Princess of Pentacles okay here's something that's on offer coming towards you okay somebody's very confident to come towards you with an offer of some sort could be a job could be anything could be a new relationship you know the, these two fives back here um, could be something completely different this could be a new relationship for some of you okay and somebody's very much here with you to start that love it because you're going into the weekend you've got the lovers okay so again soulmate twin flame very somebody very significant to you and um, on this journey with you ups and downs you know life is ups and downs and they're here with you with the downs okay as well as the apps when we get to to these and um, and, and here's a definite up of the two of cups so what's that other song life is a roller coaster okay so we're going on the weekend Saturday as the princess of wands and this this is you like very compassionate like somebody else needs help you're going through all this shit and you're still willing to help others less fortunate than you maybe and um but very compassionate energy there the princess of wands okay aquarius you finish with the full on sunday <laughs> there's something to take a chance on take a leap of faith maybe this okay maybe that to release this help ease this okay maybe needing to take a chance on something there overall at the bottom before i shuffle was the six of wands which is victory okay so aquarius we're going to see what the universe has to say for you the magus the tower two of pentacles beautiful 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 this is the magician the magus card okay so manifesting your way into the success and happiness okay blast this tower release all that energy back there and start building the solid new foundation here make it balanced okay so it doesn't topple over <laughs> and um, i said life's a juggle nothing sits there like that it'll be boring it is a roller coaster life is a roller coaster and um yeah maintain that balance there so Aquarius that's what I have for you so I do hope it helped in some way and leave a comment let me know and um, yeah we'll move on now to Capricorn so Capricorn what do we have for you Every time I do this, my table's not very sturdy. I saw the camera. It was really the bit. It's like <laughs> I've never watched the whole video back, so <laughs> I may be a bit bouncy at times. That's all. So Capricorn, let's begin here. Prince of Pentacles getting a lot of the same cards and on the same days for a lot of people all right prince of pentacles ace of wands nine of swords the sun the emperor eight of pentacles ten of swords overall queen of cups i'm just going to say somebody else had the sun on thursday and i think this is probably the third one to have prince of pentacles at the beginning of the week monday however capricorn <laughs> you have the queen of cups overall for the week okay um very feminine energy very loving very nurturing love it that's a beautiful way to have the week awesome monday as i said prince of pentacles so definitely something on offer coming towards you but always a but patience because <laughs> it's the slowest card of the pack you know so something's on offer you're coming towards the end of the week with the ten of swords ending that cycle so this may be appearing this may finally appear at the end of the week not to say it will patience may take longer 
but it's definitely on its way. Something good is on its way. Ace of Wands for Tuesday. So I do liken this to an apology card, but I do actually think with this reading for the week, it's um, it is about your goals, your vision, and you know new new ideas, where you want to be, what you want to do. Could be an apology though for some of you. Um, let me know. Wednesday is the Nine of Swords, because I'm saying for some that this is new vision, new ideas, anything that new comes with overthinking, okay, bit of our stress and anxiety, but very much overthinking, everybody does it, everybody, and um, anything new, anything going on, definitely causes a lot of thinking, that's going to kind of be the run of the mill for Wednesday for you. But never fear, because Thursday, you've got that freedom, re release of freedom. It's like that thinking's going to clear right out, maybe. And you're going to see things a lot more brighter, a lot more clearer, and um, there's happiness and joy for you. Who doesn't want the sun? That's on Thursday. Going into the weekend, you've got Friday, you've got the Emperor. Love that strong masculine energy. Um but very stable, very confident, everything, very courageous, brave, awesome, very much in control of a situation, awesome Capricorn. Now Saturday you have the Eight of Pentacles, so this is somebody that's either focused on work, very focused on work, um, or working on themselves, and there's nothing wrong with that, time out, healing, everything. But they're working just a very hard working energy there on Saturday. You're going into Sunday, as I said, the Ten of Swords. So there has been a lot of pain back here in the past, and um, it's finishing. It's ending. You're at the ten, the end of that cycle. It is finishing. As I said, for some of you, patience, and this may finally be arriving on the Sunday, um, which will break that free. Also by Thursday, if you've got this sense of energy by the weekend, you're definitely it's definitely going to sink in this way, so it's not so glary. It's definitely going to sink in and clear that those swords away. I've got the hermit before I shuffle, so again, like doing some self healing, time out, as I say, for some people. So Capricorn, I'm going to see what the universe has to say for you. The Moon, Princess of Cups, Six of Pentacles. Okay, so with the Nine of Swords here, thinking, can cause some illusions. This is your fears of not being able to move forward or not being able to move forward clearly. They say like when it's darker or shadowy, um, the Moon takes over from the Sun at night time and keeps things bright and clear unless there's an eclipse. But um, yeah, don't be fearful to move forward. Able to move forward there. Princess of Cups is a younger energy of love around you. Doesn't have to be love, love. It um, can be a child, a pet, anything. Um, doesn't even have to be younger, but it's a sense of, of younger energy, playful energy there. Definitely love around there. And the Six of Pentacles, so make sure it's equal give and take, whatever you're doing this week. Don't do all the giving and no taking, and don't do all the taking and no giving. Um, keep it balanced and maintained. And remember, overall, you've still got this loving energy overall, and especially with this midweek. Beautiful. Love it, Capricorn. So that's what I have for you. And I'm going to move on now to Taurus. So Taurus, let's see what you've got. Monday the 9th of November 2020. Quick reading. Princess of Wands, the Tower, King of Wands, 
Princess of Pentacles, Prince of Wands, the Hermit, King of Cups. Okay, overall for the week you get the Hanged One. This is the Hangman card. Um, so sitting on the fence, not sure which way to go yet. There's maybe a decision that needs to be made. You're at a crossroads and you're not sure which way to choose. You know, um, you haven't got them here. We've had a few readings with the Seven of Cups with the options. So this is also kind of not sure which one to choose yet. Still looking at the options. <laughs> Okay, so Monday you get the Princess of Wands. So this is a very compassionate energy where you're willing to give to others who may need help, um, but very confident and very determined, but also in the background you definitely have that compassionate energy there. Love that. So Taurus, on Tuesday you've got the Tower. So something is exploding, getting rid of all this energy back here that you don't need anymore and um, starting to let you build this solid new foundation here okay as you flow through the week you get you get that and that could be what this is it's like what kind of solid foundation do you want and um, yeah check that out carefully Wednesday is the king of wands okay so you've got the confidence and the determination to go after what you want you're starting to see what kind of solid foundation you want and you're going to go for it love that Thursday is the princess of pentacles so this is a younger energy but coming in with an offer of something for you and it could be somebody that's wanting to come in and help you build help you build the foundation um, but yeah, definitely assistance is there if needed. So love that. Okay, going into the weekend, Taurus, you've got the Prince of Wands. So you're going from the Princess into the Prince. And, you know, by working together, maybe you're starting to see vision, clearer vision of what you want or where you want to be. Okay, and you've got your head held. You can see, see things coming to fruition, what's coming towards you now. It's like, love that. It's like... So this princess is coming in to help you, and um, and you can see you can see that coming in towards you now. Love it. Okay, so Saturday you're going into hermit mode. Time out. Always say nothing wrong with taking time out, spending time on yourself, meditating, contemplating, um, just getting yourself together. Okay, any any explosion of this kind of proportion. You know um, may need time to heal and just spend to yourself love it Sunday you've got this energy around you or this could be you very strong energy of love and happiness emotional stability um, but very strong stable energy when it comes to love so Taurus that's pretty good and um, we're gonna see what the universe has to say for you Nine of Swords, the Four, the Lovers. Ooh la la. <laughs> okay, so everybody overthinks. I've said this, a few people have had this card too, and I've said everybody overthinks. It's not just you, everybody does it. Okay, but anything that goes like this does always come with overthinking of have I done the right thing? Have I let that go too soon? Um, you know, keeping you awake and thinking about it. Okay, but it's a chance that you may have needed to take, needed to have taken, or that you do need to take. Um, you know, the full, take a chance, take a risk, take that leap of faith. There's somebody significant here, soulmate twin flame, could be on this journey with you. How's that going to go that way? Take that chance with you. Hold hands and both both go for it. Um, it could be a new relationship that you need to take a chance on here. Who knows? Because you're also finishing with the King of Cups. So it um, could be a new relationship of some sort with you, some of you. So, yeah, love it. Let me know. So if you leave a comment, because I need comments, so I know somebody watches, I should get lots of views, a few likes, and no comments. I've had three or four. Okay, so we're going to move on. Finishing with Virgo. Oh, 
Virgo, Monday 9th of November 2020. Quick read. Okay. Okay, so you get the High Priestess. Four of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, the Universe, Judgment, Five of Wands, and overall Virgo, you get the King of Swords, Stability, very clear, very honest, very open, clear about what your intentions are, clear about what, understanding what others' intentions are, um, love that. Very stable, very strong energy. Okay, Monday, you've got the High Priestess. This is the Moon card. So um, keeping thing, keeping something within, but not in a bad way. It's like um, you're, you're watching everything that's going on around you. Very intuitive, and you've got your eyes open, your ears open, your mind open, and your heart open, but you're not jumping in full tick straight up. Okay. Tuesday it is going to bring you a sense of stability or commitment of some sort. Um, now do say it could be a marriage proposal, engaged, moving in, new relationship for some of you. It could be work, could be st stable job, permanent work of some sort. So, but Tuesday there's definitely a sense of stability around. Love it. Wednesday, Seven of Pentacles. That stability is going to allow you to get everything into order, get everything together. Okay, can't say much more to follow on from that with this. Okay, you get that stability, you're going to feel like everything is falling into place, all lined up lovely. Okay, Thursday you've got the Ace of Wands, so two ways, it's either an apology that's due or owed and um, needs to be given by you or by somebody towards you. Or else it is also new ideas, new vision, new goals, where you want to be. You know, things are falling into place here now, and it's like, so what next? Have that vision to go forward to that next level again. Because on Friday, going into the weekend, you've got the universe. World is at your feet. World is your oyster. And um, everything is falling into place for you. Perfect. Love it. Saturday you've got judgment so keep an open mind um, again upfront honest and very clear don't judge others and don't let others judge you okay you do what's right for you but you do it with an open mind awesome Sunday okay so you're finishing on the five of wands <laughs> this is battle and conflict and um, competition okay not a bad thing um, there's always competition out there if you're applying for a job or something like that maybe and um, this is just a sense of knowing that that there is somebody else that's applying for it as well so a sense of competitiveness um, but we'll see what the universe has to say I wish I could clarify but, um, but I can't <laughs> so you have to take that as it is and um, we'll see what the universe has to say. The Empress, Six of Pentacles, Three of Cups. Good outcome. Okay. Again, like the High Priestess, very intuitive, knowing what's going on around you. Um, very in tune with nature, what's happening out in there in the big wide world. Love it. Six of Pentacles, don't do all the giving and no taking, and definitely don't do all the taking and no giving. This is a balance card. Um, it's, it's a generosity card, like giving to, helping others, giving, giving to those more needy, but um, definitely making sure that things are maintained and you keep things balanced. And lastly, there's success here. There's celebration of some sort here. For some of you, you may need to do it virtually online. I think this is the first time I've had this card for the whole reading, <laughs> that there's celebration to be had. <laughs> so Virgo, whatever it is, let me know. Leave a comment and tell me what's, what you're celebrating um, and how you're doing it, whether it's online or 
or what because I don't get I don't get many comments I get the vis the views I get the likes I don't get many comments so Virgo that's what I have for you love it and um, hope this helped and see you next time thanks for watching everyone bye